So today, we are gonna talk about crushes, AKA the worst things in the world. I personally develop crushes. I personally develop crushes very quickly and I also get over them quickly. Hey, uh, Sam, I know we haven't really known each other very long, but I think I'm starting to have feelings for you. <laughs> what? I, we literally just met like five minutes ago on the street. How'd you get my number? Yeah, you're right. Yeah, I'm over it. Bye. You're always thinking about them no matter what's happening. Hi, yes, 911. I think that there's someone in my house and I wonder what Alex is doing right now. Who's Alex? Ma'am? Oh, have yeah, uh, sorry. There, there's someone in my house. I think uh -huh. I'm being robbed, kind of like how Alex stole my heart. Okay, ma'am, Alex looks so good in that sweater today. I think I'm gonna die, so you know what? Send an ambulance, too. And with crushes, there's also always the problems of communication. For example, double texting is something that stresses me out very much because when I double text someone, this is what's going on in my head. Oh my god, Emily texted me again? It's like desperate much? <laughs> It's pathetic! Oh my gosh, we should just like totally sacrifice her to the Aztec gods or something. She sucks. Yeah, totally. Anyways, agreed. let's continue this meeting on listing reasons why Emily is so annoying and super, super lame. And I know that this probably isn't the scenario, but it's like 100% probably the scenario. I mean, crushes are almost like a sickness. I mean, they make me feel like I'm dying. Oh, Emily, so what seems to be the problem? It sounded like quite the emergency. Well, uh, I have a crush on this person named Sam and they haven't texted back for 52 seconds. And I think I'm dying. Um, I feel like both my kidneys are failing. So if you could just maybe prescribe me something just to take care of that. I, I really don't think that's a legitimate sickness. You know what? You're a nurse and you're wearing the same desperate house cats t-shirt as me, so says how professional you are. Listen up, you little- And you start to, you know, overanalyze everything they do or say or even just a text. I mean, you could be like, what does this mean? Are you proposing? Do you hate me? Hi, so can I take your order? She wants to know what I want. She's like, does she like me? Oh my god, I don't like But, you know, life goes on. So, until next time. I'm over it. Bye.